Hey, we are back with another review, and today I got a follow-up to a review I did last week on this little neat gadget called the Hash Hat that uh, had a part in making. So without further ado, let's hop right into the follow-up. So basically I had a bunch of questions about how does it actually look in action, what does it actually do. Um, so I'll show you all that today, again, a little bit more in depth. But uh, just a quick recap of the review I did of this. So basically this was the first prototype that came out. It's basically a little wizard hat, um, just for the first rendition, or a pawn, however you want to look at it. Uh, the top is glow in the dark, of course, and then we got a nice teal green glass here. And then on the end here, I had a little nub. Now the nub is supposed to actually stop the hat itself from sliding off the bowl. It kind of gives it some traction to stay in place. Now I decided after I actually tried this out, um, in reality, uh, you know, versus the conception of it, I realized that the nub actually wasn't the best uh, idea for the situation here. Um, but a pancake type disc or like a coin uh, size glass disc should be there instead of the nub's place, which will hold on the inside of the lip of a bowl as well. So with that being said, let's hop right into what we got. So I do have a, a preloaded um, bowl here, which does have um, some smoldering material on top here, which is a, a dry sifted, uh, concentrated form um, of oil extract. And then you have your, your plant material throughout there on the bottom as well. Now, basically what the hash hat, again, what it does is it just basically, this was the bowl that I actually designed it for um, originally, because this is just the one I used to work, do the workup on the prototype. So basically the hash hat just kind of chills out um, on top like that. And again, like I said, it smolders. So again, if you're smoking something that's like a dry sift or something that has oil drizzled on top, you might not want to consume the entire contents of the bowl all at once. Something like this will put out the smolder and it'll basically, um, it'll just extinguish it so it'll allow you to continue using it versus having it just burn up. So that was the whole idea behind this originally. Um, now, the nib, this is the nub, it actually, this is the the point that the nub comes into play because you see how it, it doesn't fall out? Um, that's what's basically keeping it inside here is the nub um, is keeping it from falling off the ledge of the bowl, even at a 45 or even here at a 90. So the nub itself, I would like a disc because I do think a disc, as you can see here, there's a lot of gap in between there. The nub kind of only works in the center. I think if it had a disc, the disc would fill in basically right to the ledge of the in inner lip of pretty much any bowl. And I was even thinking about doing a step down lip where you'd have one for like larger bowls and then you'd have a little bit smaller, almost like a, not, not particularly like a cone, but kind of like maybe a three step, um, step down, I guess you could say, of little glass discs. And that will allow it to basically interlock on any size uh, bowl that you have or any size hole in a bowl that you have. But for those of you that were asking about what the actual hash hat is and what it does, that's it perfectly. So for the setup that I actually have for this, this bowl is actually 90 degrees, which is the main reason why I had the hash hat on, so I could literally just cap it up. And then boom, there you go. I don't have to worry about it burning out and I could return to this whenever I want because it's been capped. It's like capping a candle. It basically just puts it right out. Um, but in the past, when you'd have something like this, you'd take you know a few hits off this or smoke uh, a portion of this, most of it would get ruined because it would continue to burn. And it's because of the concentrate material that's on top. And something like this, again, is gonna put that out and allow you to return to that versus you having to be forced to smoke it all and consume it all in one sitting. And uh, that was kind of the motivation that, that kind of went behind um, this thing coming to, to actuality was the fact that the, how much product was being wasted by being forced to consume the entire contents of the bowl. Because, um, you know, sometimes one or two um, consumption is all you need out of the out of the bowl to basically um, go forward. You know what I'm saying? So, but the hash hat itself, I mean, it's definitely it works for me for what I have for my setup. But I want to make it where it's something that's actually usable for pretty much any piece, uh, any piece, and integrates pretty much any type of bowl, whether it's heady glass, industrial glass, doesn't really matter. It'll be able to fit inside your piece and stop the smoldering, or even put your put your bowl out if your bowl. Uh, if you don't want to smoke it anymore, I mean, again, it might not have to just strictly be for concentrates. It could be from you know, plant material that you want to put out, that you have lit, that you want to just extinguish real fast uh, and cover it up without having the smell. Because a lot of times you also get 
the the smoke clouds will actually come from the bowl itself so this will actually help stop that as well by stopping it from escaping around the outer edges so anyway uh hopefully this cleared up a lot of you guys' concerns in regards to what it actually is and here it is in the um in action right here on this uh nice bowl and again hash hat check it out that's how it works it just kind of chills out caps up your product and uh stops you from wasting money and wasting product and extends your consumption of whatever you happen to be smoking on. So let me know what you think in the comments below about the hash hat. And uh, if you want me to see more videos and more follow-ups as I do this prototype into other workable prototypes and take it further, um, let me know down in the comments below what you think of that and if you want me to do that as well. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for more content like this. Subscribe for more. I do smoking reviews every single day, so be on the lookout for that. And have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.